Pool Party Massacre, one of the reasons I streamed this movie was it had a really cool cover of like a skeleton wearing sunglasses with long hair and holding a drink and it says worst pool party ever. Um, so right off the bat, this is a, a low budget indie type movie. Uh, which doesn't bother me. You know, I've said it before about indie movies. Uh, basically, you have this nice girl who lives nearby and is invited to this rich bitch's pool party with her other dipshit friends. And, you know, they have like this funny banter between them. And unknown to them, there's a maniac uh, slasher with uh, various tools and whatnot, hunting them down one by one. And I thought it was okay for what it was. It wasn't a high-budget slasher, but you could tell that they had a lot of fun making it. And I think it was a step up from a similar movie called Spring Break Massacre, uh, which again, that movie, they looked like they had a lot of enthusiasm and it was just really not the greatest movie. It didn't have the greatest script. And they did the best they could with the budget. But I think Pool Party Massacre was slightly better than Spring Break Massacre. Um, if you're interested, you know, you have the babes in bikinis and scantily clad and whatnot. Just sitting around the pool drinking and talking and whatnot. And definitely my sympathy was with one of the main girls who was probably like the nicest one out of the entire group. She would talk back to the rich characters who would just kind of like make fun of her and blow her off and just uh, treat her like a piece of shit. So you get a lot of satisfaction uh, as the movie goes on uh, with the slasher. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of these characters aren't really likable. So they're basically just cannon fodder uh, for this type of movie. And I think I read they're going to make a sequel. I'd be interested in what kind of angle they would do for a sequel to this type of movie. Uh, it's obvious they had a lot of fun on this movie, and I'd be willing to see what a sequel is like in the future. I think I streamed this movie on Tubi. Uh, go ahead and give it a watch if you're in that kind of spring break horror movies or horror movies with like college-aged kids. It fits in uh, to that genre, I think. So that's it for now. I enjoyed this movie. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks for watching.